I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on solving questions from Cambridge IGCSE test papers. Let me thank them for sharing such a valuable resource with everyone globally. This not only helps the students who are appearing for these tests, but also all others to understand the topics better. So I'm more interested in question number four from this test paper, which is actually a specimen paper for examinations from 2020, right? Mathematics paper for extended. So let's see and understand how do we perform rotation of objects. Question number four here is, draw the reflection of triangle T in the line X equals to zero. Now, very first statement could create a lot of confusion for students as some may not understand what is the meaning of line x equals to zero. Line x equals to zero means the y-axis. Do you understand? This is what we're talking about. So it really means the y-axis. So you have to reflect on the y-axis. Every point on y-axis has x equals to zero. So that's the vertical line we are looking into. So I hope this first thing is very clear. Now it becomes very simple. So this point, that is the triangle for us, triangle T, uh, which we are looking into. The other triangle is triangle U. I forgot to type in their names. Okay. Now the coordinate points will be reflected so they look same distance away. So at minus 2, we'll come to the value 2. So what you notice here is for this particular transformation, where it is reflection, the x and y coordinates will actually change to minus x and y, correct? So y value remains same. The x value becomes negative of whatever it was, right? So the first one is at minus 2, it becomes 2. The second one is minus 4, it will be 4. And here this vertex, which is at minus 4 again, the y value being minus 2 will now be appearing at 4. So we have a triangle here which has been reflected on the y-axis which is x equals to 0. So I hope this part is absolutely clear, right? Now part B is draw the rotation of triangle T about minus 2 minus 1 through 90 degrees clockwise. How do we do that and what kind of transformation takes place? Now, if you have a point x, y in coordinate 1, for example, right, and if you rotate it clockwise by 90 degrees, what will happen? If you rotate it clockwise by 90 degrees, it will appear in coordinate 4, where y value will be negative, right? And the x value and y value will swap, so it will kind of look like this. Do you see that part? So that is how it will look after the reflection and the new quadrants will be x and y will change so we get y and you see the y value is negative right so that is the transformation so that is what happens when you rotate uh, 90 degrees clockwise now in our case we are given a point however this point is not the origin it is minus 2 minus 1 so minus 2 minus 1 is that point how do I rotate clockwise with this point. I know it will be somewhere there, but how do I exactly get the points? Well, the strategy is make a new coordinate axis. That is the strategy which I wanted to share with the help of this example. Okay. I have many other videos on this topic. So I'd like you to look into those videos also. So now we have a new coordinate axis. Let's call this as a new system, right? New coordinates. So let's write down the new coordinates according to the origin at minus 2, minus 1. So according to this, these points will now be what? So let's call them A dash, B dash, C dash, right? Okay, so in that case, the coordinates for A dash will be reading for the new one, 0 and 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 4, right? So it is 0 and minus 4. The B value will be, you are moving from here two units to the left and then going four units, right? So two minus and then minus four, correct? So you move like this. 
and for c dash you actually moved again two units to the left and then one unit down so minus two minus one now after the rotation which is 90 degrees clockwise correct what happens these points so we say a double dash will be they will swap so we get minus four zero zero plus minus is one and the same thing as far as b is concerned we get minus four and this two becomes positive right for c double dash the image will be at minus one and two so those are the new points for us correct let's plot these points now and get our answer so a dash is minus 4, 0. So that will appear at, uh, we are looking with reference to a new coordinate, right? So from minus 2, it goes to minus 6. That is what minus, uh, it doesn't really move uh, along the y-axis as per the new. So minus 4, 0 is our point. So that is A double dash, correct? B double dash is minus 4, 2. So from here, will go two units up correct and c double dash is minus one but this value is two so from here just one away right there so we have our new triangle which has been rotated clockwise by an angle of 90 degrees does it make sense right so we'll call this as t double dash correct so that is our triangle t let's say uh, reflection r let's call it r since i use dash here okay so that is our answer correct so clockwise rotation is a triangle t double dash and this reflection is a tr question number four says describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle t onto u so so what is that single transformation so if you look at these two we have the same size right so we have same size that means it is basically translation now what kind of translation is this so if you compare a point let's say a dash so it this is the let's say a3 prime it has moved one unit to the right so we can say one unit to the right right so we'll write a matrix kind of a thing and how much up so as far as it concerned it is moving from minus five to four nine units up right so nine units up so that is how you could describe the transformation right so the transformation is one unit one unit right and nine units up which will write as a single transformation as a matrix one nine does it make sense to you that is how we are going to answer this question i hope that helps also look into some of my videos which are talking about the same thing rotation about a different point clockwise or counterclockwise through the angle of uh, maybe 90 degrees or 270 degrees and i hope that should help you to answer such questions in similar exams thank you and all the best